Whoa. Leo. Old school Leo. Boom, triple kill. There we go. Hey guys, what is going on? We're going to run the old school Lancelot, of course. So, two different builds we're going to run. We're going to run the Sonic build, and then the, I guess you call it, I like to call it the Electric Freeze build, or the Lightning Freeze build. So let's just jump in and see how we can hold up with this Lance. Okay, we're here on Power Plant map first, and I think this should be a good... Um, a good map for us to run this. So, yeah, let's go ahead and drop in the Lance first. Let's use our, um, what should we go? Yeah, let's go Persephone drone. So, no, we have one last stand, a, what was it, a thermo nuke and a anti-control. And I have most pilot skills loaded up, but I'm still out of gold, so I'm still trying to be... I didn't have the last, like, one uh, pilot skill loaded up. But this does have the Manny pilot on it, so... Oof. Took a bit of damage there. Okay, here's a Ravana. Toast. Boom! Alright, nice. We got the kill. We don't have a ton of HP. I actually thought that Lancelot had more HP. And this is a Mark III Lancelot. We only have... We lost a little bit. We only had, like, just over 300 Dow. Oh! Scorpion. Man, these weapons are ideal to take down Fabners and, like, flying robots. Boom, double kill. All right, all right. Because Fabners, you know how I've said before, the Fabners work best when they fly around in circles with, you know, a lot of speed. And... Whoa! Leo. Old school Leo. Boom, triple kill. There we go. Ooh, Shellbot versus Shellbot. I think my teammate may have just uh, had a Mantis battleship as well because their shield just got like double boosted up. Or Aegis shield. Okay, boom. We treated the last down that Aojun here. Okay, wait. For now we move in. See, he's not even paying attention to us. Boom. Rampage. Okay, we're pretty good on beacons right now, too. We got four beacons. Here's a hawk moving in. Jeez, this might be a quick game if the enemy team doesn't start pushing beacons. We've had four beacons for a couple minutes here. What is that, a tier? Freeze, slow down, slow down. We may not... Oh, we didn't get the kill. Okay, this hawk, wait for him to land so he doesn't get any extra damage absorption off us. Okay, we still have our last stand ready to go. Uh-oh. Now our last stand is triggered. Whoa! I did not think that Minos was going to be there. Ah, okay, we died. But we had a good couple minutes with that Lancelot. We got a Rampage. Um, I'm not sure how long this game is going to last, but I guess we, let's just drop in our hawk here. I put my hawk back in my hangar, just because, you know, primarily to kill titans. And let's go kill some titans. Yeah, okay, there we go. Kill this Minos. Man, we still have four beacons. They don't even have their home beacon. They just have that beacon. I think we might... Enemy team might be screwed. It almost seems like they mean down a player too. I don't think they've I mecked out two players this early. That would be a bit unusual. Come on. Stop hiding. Shamrock. 0004044224044. Here, here we go. 
Oh, it's a Muramit, and he went up in his ability, and this game is over. Over. Alright, guys, so pretty much to sum it up, the Lancelot, I tried a bunch of different builds, and I'd say maybe the um, heal build, the electric lightning freeze build was one of the better builds that I used throughout the gameplay. Um, but the Sonic build is pretty decent too, but man, I've always thought the Lancelot was one of those robots that has kind of held up over time. Maybe not in Champion League as much, but maybe if you ran it in Masters League with all the upgrades, but it really could use some buffs. I mean, the durability is not as much as I thought. The physical shielding is a little bit deceiving because it does break pretty easily. The firepower is pretty good, but it just needs more defense and more you know, specialness to it. But we I got some kill streaks with it and then other times I die pretty fast with it. It's kinda seemed how it would go. Boom! Man, we just roasted that uh, Inquisitor. Ironically enough, the Inquisitor when it came out was like, you know, it was the ultimate counter to the Lancelot because it had the same amount of firepower but it could jump into stealth. These days the Lancelot is definitely better than the Inquisitor, which is a bit weird. But like I said, I tried a bunch of different builds here. And this guy is up top. And I, yeah, I probably like this build. The I'm just going to call it the electric freeze build. Because it looks like electricity that freezes you. Um, but yeah, I probably liked it best just because it has like a, you know, semi-lock-on mechanic. And you can take down Favnors pretty easily up in the air when they're flying around with super high speeds. Oh, no, we didn't get that kill there. I pushed forward. This game went by pretty fast, too. Almost have a... This... Man, this bug keeps happening. Look at the beacons A and E right now. See, it looks like they haven't been captured, but they fully have been captured, and it's just kind of bugged out. It's really weird. I don't know why it's showing it like that, but hopefully it's not affecting how fast it drains the beacon bar. But that's going to wrap up the video, guys. A bit of a shorter video today. But hopefully we can get some more gold so then we can start doing some new builds and more pilot skills and different stuff. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Until next time, peace. See you guys next video.